Hello friends, welcome to the preparation series from Easy Engineering Classes. We are continuing with our questions that would help you in preparing for GATE Computer Science, Bank IT Officer Exam and UGC NET Computer Science Papers. Today we will do an algorithms question from GATE 2016 paper. So the question says that you have to consider the following new order strategy for traversing a binary tree and the strategy is you have to visit the root then visit the right subtree using new order and then visit the left subtree. So the new order traversal of the expression tree corresponding to reverse Polish expression is given to you and this is the reverse Polish, Polish expression and you have to find out the new order traversal out of the four options. So what is reverse Polish expression? Reverse Polish expression is nothing but post order traversal. Alright, you have to remember such names so that you don't get confused. And what is post order traversal? It means first you traverse the left subtree of your uh, root, then you traverse the right subtree of the root, and then you visit the root. Okay, this is what is post order traversal. Now, what is asked in the new order strategy? New order strategy says to traverse in the following order. The order is first you have to visit the root, then you have to visit the right subtree and then at the end you have to visit the left subtree. So if you notice very carefully, reverse Polish expression or the post order traversal is just the opposite of what is asked, what is stated as new order. So left, right, root if I reverse it and write it down I will get root right and left and since this expression or the post order traversal is given to you for a particular binary tree if you write this in the opposite order or if I write it starting from the right corner and going towards the left corner minus plus one star seven six 2 minus star 4 and 3. So what you will obtain is the correct answer. Actually this is the correct answer because it is the reverse of the post order traversal. And this option corresponds to option C. Okay so this was a shortcut way of doing it. By chance in the question while you are doing it or you are doing such questions you do not or this trick does not strike you. You are not able to find out how to solve it and you decide to solve it by a proper long cut method. So what would be the exact method that you would follow in case you are not aware of such uh, tricks, such shortcuts? Then what you will do that the given post order traversal first needs to be converted into an infix expression. Okay, this is a post fixed expression. You have to first convert it into an infix expression. Now how to convert an a postfix expression into an infix expression? Basically a postfix writes the operator at the end of the two operands. So you have to consider this fact and find out the correct infix. So if I start traversing from the left end, I see that the two operands are 3, 4 and the operator is star. So the correct infix would be 3, star and 4. If I consider the first three values or the symbols. So this is the correct, po po this is the postfix, this is the infix corresponding to these three symbols. I write the remaining expression as it is and we'll convert it as we move further. Okay, I'm telling you the step-by-step -step procedure to convert from a postfix to an infix expression. Now, consider this as the expression, the postfix expression. 3 into 4 would be one operand. 5 is the second operand and minus is the third operand. So, the next corresponding infix would be 3 into 4 minus 5 and writing the remaining expression as it is. 
all right now again consider the first x the first operand coming till this bracket then 2 as the second operand and the symbol to the power of as the operator so if i convert it into infix i would get something like 3 into 4 minus 5 raised to the power 2 6 7 star 1 plus minus now that was till this point all was going same but from this point you will notice that if you start considering this bracket as the first operand this as the second operand 6 as the second operand then immediately after two operands you would not find an operator so this is an indication that you have to consider these three symbols now okay so a new set of bracket would be started from now on and this would look like 6 into 7 because every operator is a binary operator it would correspond to two operands and therefore we cannot have more than two operands here all right so this one plus minus here one operand two operand and operator so this would be converted to if you are familiar with this trick you will be able to do it very quickly it's not a very long method so once you are understand once you understand the entire procedure it is very easy okay and now the only operator that is left is minus so we'll place this minus before in between the two major brackets so this this and this 3 star 4 closes here minus 5 closing the second brace then 2 then minus then 6 into 7 plus 1 all right so this is our infix expression now from the infix expression you have you can make a tree and then find the corresponding new order expression so let's quickly make a tree out of it the operator and then the operator here operator this would be star this would be one this would be six this would be seven this would be minus this would be star this would be five three four and two so uh, quickly i'll tell you how i made this I considered the outermost operator and the two uh, brackets corresponding to this operator or the two operands corresponding to this. Now breaking these operands, I get the major operator between the two operands within this bracket as this symbol that is raised to the power of or exponent symbol. Then breaking this bracket in the left subtree, I get the major symbol as minus. So I make it the root. Then breaking the left subtree again I get the symbol of star or multiplication as the root and I make 3 and 4 as the children. So this is my tree that would result from the reverse Polish expression by converting it to infix. Now I would traverse it using the new order strategy. So what is the new order strategy? Visit the root. So I vis when I visit this root. I encircle it and I write down the expression that will that I will get correspondingly so I visit the root and now I visit the right subtree I go to the right subtree on the right subtree I again follow the same thing I visit the root the root is plus now I visit the right subtree and I now visit the root the root is 1 now since plus the right subtree of plus is over i go to the left subtree i visit the root of the left subtree so i print star then i visit the right root the root of the right subtree which is seven then since the right subtree is over i print six from the left subtree the entire left subtree is over and the right subtree of minus is also over so i go to the left subtree for the left subtree, I print the root. Then I go to the right subtree. See, right subtree and I print the value 2. 
Since right subtree is over, I go to the left subtree and print the root. Since the root is done, I print the right root, the root of the right subtree, then star, then 4 and then 3. Star 4 and 3. And this is the expression that you will get for the new order strategy. And if you see, this is the exact expression that we got from the shortcut. So the correct answer is C. I hope you understood this question. It was not very tricky, but yes, if you know the shortcut, you can easily grab the marks. Thank you for watching the video. If you understood the question, please mention it in the comments section below. Like this video and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel of Easy Engineering Classes for more lectures on the preparation series and other computer science related subjects. Stay tuned to our channel. Thank you. Good luck.